Yeah. Oh, my gosh, what happened? Did you defeat LeChuck? Save your wife? Avenge my death? Uh, she, no. She stabbed me. What? Elaine, she's LeChuck's demon bride. And she zapped me with voodoo root beer. Demon bride? Wow. She must be under LeChuck's control. Get back in there and save her! No, she's not. She looked me right in the eyes and then chose mm -hmm. him. They're gonna take over the world together. There's a demonic sword involved. It's over. Well, that's good news. Huh? Now you're free to just curl up and enjoy a sad, pathetic eternity in Pirate hey. Afterlife. Of course, I'm not sure if they're still letting whiny schoolgirls in. Hey. Have to check. Come on, Morgan. I just lost my wife. So go take her back, Guybrush. Are you a mighty pirate or aren't you? I... Look, I know you're not the most fearsome pirate to sail the Seven Seas, but what I've learned about the Guybrush Threepwood that inspired me for my entire life is that there isn't any situation he can't handle. Yes. And the we one can do thing anything. I've admired about you ah. throughout our entire adventure together is that you never gave up on Elaine. And I won't. She's my wife. Maybe if I could find a way to use that cutlass... But if I go back, they'll just zap my ghost again. So get your body back. What? Just Which is a good find idea. my body and repossess it? Wait, that sounds kind of familiar. Yeah, because the Chuck did that. Find the locket, find your body. And then bring the fight to that decrepit sack of sea worms and make the Chuck rue the day he decided to mess with Guybrush Streetwood. Mighty, Mighty Pirate. pirate. <laughs> yes! I still have no clue what rue means. But it sounded great. So, what are you gonna do? I'm going to go skewer some more sorry ghosts. Maybe practice my pickpocketing. I don't know. Something. Mm -hmm. That's Morgan. Kind of depressing. Thanks. See you later, Mo. Alright, let's get back to the world of the living. We need to find some stuff. Hey! Huh, okay. Alright, back over here. Uh, oh wait. Portals are opening up everywhere. This one leads to the boat, but... The other portals are in the other bits of world. Let's go to a couple different places. First off, let's go to the treasure hunt. Where, hey, there's a portal right there. What do you know? To the rip. I can't remember where each individual portal leads, but hey, we'll see. Into the breach. Hello? Maybe. Anyone around? Hey, there's a monkey. Monkey. Huh. Another hypnotized monkey. Okie okay, okie. Okay. And a dead seagull. Morbid. And a dead seagull feather. I don't even have the bodily strength to lift a feather. Yeah, that that's kind of disappointing. A treasure chest. Hey. Hmm. Oh, shoot. It's too <laughs> dark to actually see what's in here. So much for ghost powers. Yeah, that would have been cool, though. Well, nothing I can get in here, but maybe once I get a body. All right. Back into the breach. On to the next one. Whoa. <coughs> Run over this way. Come on. You can do it, Kairos. Run. All right, back on the boat. Back on the boat. And over here to the thieves' den. Ha ha. Welcome back, friend. Yes, yes. I'm back. And I'm here for, if I could walk straight, I'm here for, you don't have a portal? I could have sworn every place had a portal. All right, no portal. So we'll just Look take the, the boat. I gotta go. Come back soon, Bye -bye. friend. Sword fighting? Maybe? Maybe? Nope. Crap. You. Oh. What have you done? The voodoo lady has crabs. <laughs> Why did you open the crossroads? 
With the barriers shattered, the Chuck is now beyond all control, plundering voodoo energy directly from the spirit realm. Thanks to you, reality itself could unravel like a cheap rug. Uh... You told me I could. And I can't get over it. The voodoo lady has crabs. Caleb told me I could. Nobody said it would have catastrophic effects. Yeah. Why didn't you warn me that LeChuck had nefarious plans for Las Fonjo Grande? I'm afraid LeChuck made fools of us all this time, Guy Brush. Uh. But hope is not yet lost. Uh, yeah, how can you help me? Fool me once, shame uh, on me. Fool me once, shame on me. Um, you, uh, uh fool me twice, um, well, uh, well, uh, you can't get fooled again. In fact, I'm already working on a plan to possess my body, so they can't zap me with root beer again when I go back. Yes, the voodoo root beer only affects spiritual manifestations in the physical realm. If you can manage to repossess your body, you may yet be able to use LeChuck's weapon against him. Hey, hey. Face melting halitosis or the cutlets of Kablu? You mean the cutlets of Kablu? You must figure that out for yourself. Go now. Find your body. Find a way for your spirit to possess it. Yes. But remember, rebinding a soul to a body <coughs> is not as simple as taking yourself over. You're rebelling against the natural state of things, and the universe will push back. Yeah. Once you have possessed your body, you'll have to find a more permanent way to bind it to your soul. I recommend Nix and Mojo brand Spirit Gum. It can create a powerful spiritual bond that will bring your restless spirit and body together in harmony. Okay. It's also delicious. It comes in lemon, cherry, and mutton flavors. Mutton. I always have some with me. Can you give me some of that Spirit Gum? I cannot risk coming out of hiding to aid you, Guy Brush. But I was chewing some when I was imprisoned back on Flotsam. I may have left some back in the jail cell. Remember, yes. spirit gum contains some ingredients from the spirit realm, so it retains some ghostly properties. Be careful with it. I must I go will. now, Guybrush. It is too dangerous for me to let my true whereabouts be known. Ugh. I hope this is just a phase she's going through. Yeah, because the crabs were kind of creepy. Alrighty, to the rip. Around and up. We go. Up, up, up. Go, go, go. Slow, slow, slow. Ooh, into the portal. Ooh. Crossing back over. And where am I now? 